question about the amount? Well, the rebounds, uh, you know, and, and them only shooting 39%. And those were the, the two stats that, uh, you know, are really important to us. Um, uh, you know, and points off turnovers, points in the paint, second chance points, we won all three of those categories. So those, those are great stats for us. But those are like the CLs that finish out, you know, the strong months of the year. Is that the way you do that? Oh, I'm really happy for him. He's had three good ball games here to, to finish it up. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to go undefeated at home uh, just because you got to keep your focus. And every now and then you think the crowd's just going to take care of it. Uh, we see it all across the country. There's, there's not many people that have that opportunity to go undefeated at home. So uh, really, really happy for him and Dwayne, you know, and Max. Um, that's, you know, it's an accomplishment, and uh, I'm really happy for him. Other than the free throws, what have you made of Ogis in all six years at Warriors? Well, he's played his tail off for us. You know, I mean, he's a hard-nosed guy, and, uh, you know, I feel very fortunate to have the opportunity to work with him for three years, you know, and Dwayne for two. Uh, you know, we want young men who want to be here and, and want to compete. And, and those two guys, you know, I, I really think they have great feelings about our school and, and the students. And, you know, that's a you know, really big part of it, you know, that they enjoyed their time here. And, and both of those guys, you know, really have enjoyed it. People have been great to them. The students have been great to them. They've done a terrific job. Well, I'm, we're lucky he missed a couple of those dunks. Uh, uh, he's, he's an explosive player, a uh, phenomenal athlete. And uh, uh, we got him in a little foul trouble. You know, we thought we had a mismatch there with, with Elgin. And uh, uh, Elgin did a great job of taking it at the hole. During the three-point line, you seem to be mentioning it's key to your improvement. You seem to be struggling. Well, we, we're having a hard time getting guys rotating out to the corner. You know, especially Jordan and Chris, they're they're so used to staying in the middle, and and they're having a little hard time anticipating that pass and getting out there quick enough. Uh, I think three or four of the threes they hit were, you know, those guys not rotating quick enough. So we just got to keep working at it. Uh, uh, but no, nine for twenty-five is it's not bad, but it's, you know, our defense has got to improve. So it's not a lot of time to enjoy this when you're heading down to a road trip, kind of like. What's the focus? UCLA, that's, that's all we need to think about. You know, uh, uh, I'm not sure, you know, why we didn't perform well in the Bay Area. Uh, could have been we were looking ahead. Could have been we were listening to all the hype. I'm, I'm not sure, but we sure didn't do a good job, coaches and players. And, uh, you know, we just got to go down and play. You know, we finished the year last year with three road games. And maybe as proud as I've been of any team, you know, they, they, they went and fought. We won in the Bay Area and then came back and beat Oregon State. And, and our guys were together in that stretch. And then we went one, we went five games away from home in a row, you know, and really played well. So, you know, I, I, I think those guys have that experience to draw from. Uh, we've won at, at two of the more difficult places to play in, in Arizona and Utah. So, you know, we've, should have a little confidence there, but UCLA and and USC are battling, you know, for position, and and uh, it's going to be very difficult. You know, anytime you get senior day then for USC, and uh, you know, it's it's just going to be difficult. So it's the last road trip. We're going to have to play really well, uh, and our focus has to be one thing: UCLA uh, six o'clock Wednesday night. You think you're coming off that Barry one that would be easier to get their attention to know that maybe they're going? To oh, I don't know. I don't make any predictions of, of how they'll respond. Uh, they're a good group. I think they will. You know, I think they'll want to compete. Uh, but you know, it's uh, it's going to be tough. You know, it's uh, UCLA played yesterday. They'll have an extra day on us, and um, you know, we'll have to take it pretty easy tomorrow. But then, you know, practice a little bit Tuesday, take a flight out that night, and and uh, hopefully be ready to play. It's really hard to get a handle on and early on they. 
their talent hasn't changed. You know, they're they're still a very talented group, and you know it's a long season. You know, but uh, you know I reminded our guys that we've wanted some of the difficult plays. I'm sure that Steve's re reminding his guys that they beat Kentucky, they beat Gonzaga, they beat Arizona, they beat some really good teams. So we're going to have to play well. There's there's no doubt about it. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. Memories of that come back to. Thanks a lot. No, I, you know, uh, nobody was a part of that team. You know, that was a different time. You know, I'm trying to remind them what happened last year. You know, and, and you're messing me up. So, uh, uh, no, that was that was a tough road trip. We didn't play well. You know, and uh, uh, I think it was UCLA and us were trying to, you know, to finish strong and. And uh, they got one of the two, and we got neither of the two, so we finished behind them. So, you know, we've either been outright second or tied for second. Uh, when, you know, last four years we went second, second, third, second. You know, uh, you know one of these days we're gonna have to get it done. Uh, but, you know, it's I don't want to put any pressure on the guys. We just gotta go play. You know, I, I think they felt pressure earlier, and keep telling just. One game, it's UCLA. Let's go swing away, see what happens. You know, uh, if, if we play well, if we do the things that are necessary, we'll we'll have a chance to win. If we don't play well, it's not going to happen. So just us getting focused to play as well as we can. You know, I don't know, but I I think we'll play hard. Now we, we got to play well, but I think we will play hard. You know, and I, I was very embarrassed. We didn't play hard against the two schools in the Bay Area. We came back and we played pretty hard the last three games, and we're gonna have to play hard again. You know, we just got to keep addressing it, and uh, you know, we need to be able to make adjustments in the games, and, and we didn't adjust in those games, and, and and that's happened a lot in our road losses. Well, Coach, you've had a lot of success. Fun's not the right word to yeah. use. That's my wife always says, you know, have fun. And uh, fun, you know, you don't go to work and have fun, you know. Uh, I enjoy being around the guys. You know, I've been fortunate enough to do this uh, for 36 years and, and 30 of them at the Division One level. And, and I do enjoy the guys. Um, but, you know, I want to win and, and uh, the players want to win. So, it's it's fun when you get none, but you know during the ball game and that it's it's com competition. It's it's a fight, you know, and and it, it's not fun, you know. It's it's let's get after it. Let's do the best we can. And uh, but to answer your question, I, I really enjoy the guys. I enjoy the team. I enjoy off the court, you know, spending time with them. And uh, um, but you know we we want to finish strong. I mean that's that's our goal every year. You know, to be playing our best, and we were playing really good. We had a little let down, and now we're starting to pick it back up again. And it's our challenge to to get better next week. All right, great. Thanks.